What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Huber. I am a flight instructor and corporate pilot flying internationally all over the globe and I'm an ATP graduate and I wanted to talk to you guys about ATP flight school because I have a lot of videos on my channel about ATP flight school, my experiences in going through that program in 2016. So I do have week by week vlogs and different experience, experiences that I've shared through that program and shared here on this YouTube channel and I wanted to talk about something that I get asked a lot in Instagram DMs and YouTube comments and that's would I go to ATP flight school again if I could or would I still recommend that program and a lot has changed since I did go to that program it's been about two and a half three years since I graduated from ATP and I wanted to talk about if I could do it again would I do it and what would I do differently and what have I seen or what are kind of my uh, experiences after the program and how have I progressed in my career since then. And I've been really fortunate to be in a position where I am right now. I fly for a Part 91 flight department and we do get to fly internationally and it's a great, great opportunity and a blessing in my career. And I just wanted to talk about ATP. Would I do it again? So I'll give you two quick, simple, short answers to that question. And the first one is, in a perfect world, no, I would not recommend ATP. And there's a couple reasons why. I think ATP is a great program with a set curriculum, but for a lot of students and a lot of people just starting out in aviation, they need a lot more tailored instruction to them. And I think ATP lacks some customization and lacks a personal experience with the student in order to tailor what they need and to tailor the program around their needs, whereas ATP is more of a cookie cutter, cut and dry, do this Monday, do this Tuesday, boom, 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 okay, this day you get your rating or, or such, so that it, it's very much cut and dry, and I think it's more of like a classroom curriculum setting. Well, not necessarily a classroom setting, because it is part 61, not 141, so the majority of your studying on the ground is self-study, keep that in mind. but. Um, I think for people needing more uh, tailored curriculums or special help in certain emphasis areas, ATP would not be a good recommendation. And second reason is financially. When I did the program, I did the 100 hour multi program when that was available, starting from instrument rating. I had my private pilot rating when I came in, which is something I would recommend if you are interested in doing ATP. I believe they still offer that option to come in with your private and start instrument through the end. Uh, but I came in and did the instrument 100 hour program, 100 hour multi program. And what that was, it was 100 multi hour flight time, including a multi cross country time build. And it got me from a private pilot, single engine, to multi engine, flight instructor, instrument instructor, everything, all my ratings complete. And it was about $60,000, 6995, I believe, was the total cost, $61,000. And for the zero hour, zero to hero as they call it, or zero hour, 100 hour multi-program, that program was $71,000 back in 2016. And now, in 2019, the advertised price for the program, zero through all your rating is $81,000. And from what I understand, it is a 50 hour multi-program. So it's changed a little bit. They used to offer a 40 hour and 100 hour multi-programs and now it is a 50 hour multi-track uh, and with some new things at the ACS, um, you're able to do your commercial uh, in a 172. You don't have to use a complex aircraft, you can use a TAA, technically advanced aircraft, so they're able to do that instead of doing the multi first, so the curriculum has changed. And if you are interested in knowing more about the ATP curriculum, don't ask me. Uh, I'm not the expert anymore, uh, I'm, I never have been. Call ATP directly and see what they can do um, to tell you more about the curriculum. Or if you have questions for current ATP students or current ATP flight instructors, I have a group, ATP Flight School Students and Alumni. I'm the admin for that group, I can leave it in the description. We have 3,000 members current students, former students, alumni, people who've been there, done the program, currently in the program. So those are the best people that can help you answer some of these questions as you might be deciding where you wanna train and how you want to go about your career and get your ratings. 
So simply put, uh, I think there's some better options than ATP for uh, the perfect case scenario. I think that using a part 61 mom and pop flight school or using even better a freelance instructor and a freelance flying club or a personal airplane that you can rent, doing things without the overhead of a flight school or advertising budgets or marketing or things that ATP have, things that these bigger flight, school, flight schools have, uh, yes, they might have good equipment, they might have good maintenance, but it's gonna be expensive. It's not gonna be the cheapest option. And if you are looking for cost-effective options, um, there are much more cost-effective options. Uh, some, if you're more into um, business-oriented things or you're trying to make an investment, I would recommend buying an airplane. Buy a Cessna 150, a 152. It might cost you $20,000 up front, but then if you utilize that airplane, build your time in it, do your ratings in it, and then sell it on the back end, your net cost is gonna be a lot lower. And then you can utilize a freelance flight instructor. I don't know where you are in your market, but most freelance flight instructors would charge somewhere between 30 and $70 per hour for flight instruction. And um, me personally, I charge 40 or $50 an hour for flight instruction, which is cheaper than the going rate in my market at about 75, even $85 per hour at flight school. So it is cheaper um, to utilize a freelancer. I'm in Arizona. If you are in Arizona, uh, Freelance Flight Training Arizona, another Facebook group I have that I'll leave down below if you're interested in freelancers or doing it that way. Yes, it is cheaper, but here's where I draw the line. Um, you have to be a very focused individual in order to do things yourself and be self-driven. It's much harder than if you have an ATP bill over your head or you have deadlines to meet that are imposed on you by other people. If that's the case, then that's going to motivate you more to get things done. If you say, like, if, if you have an ATP instructor and Monday through Friday you have a schedule, uh, that, that keeps you on track. So a lot of people... They're not as self-motivated, so if they're using a freelancer and it's all on their own time, they're their own boss, per to say, it's going to be harder to keep themselves motivated and stay on track. And I see this with a lot of people They get into flight training and then it takes them two, three, four years and they're still, oh yeah, I'm still working on my instrument or working on my commercial when it's like, no, you really have to focus on this because speed and timing and efficiency are everything in aviation. If you want to go to the airlines, you need to get there quick. Get there quick, get your ratings done, get them done efficiently, safely, knock them out, and then go and go to the airlines. Build your time. You want It's all about seniority, it's all about experience. And right now is the perfect time to get into aviation, whether that be airlines, part 121, or 91, 135, the corporate side of the industry. There's so many opportunities, and the quicker you can get it done, the better. So I'd say in a perfect situation, I would not recommend going to ATP. If you are self-motivated, if you have a little bit more resources, creativity, there's better options. I can talk about those more in other videos. But in a general consensus, I still think ATP is a fantastic option, and I still would recommend them for a lot of people. Um, it gives you a very clear, easy path, especially for someone who might not know as much about the industry or have certain connections, and um, you're just like, wow, I really wanna be a pilot, I'm, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I wanna get from nobody, zero time, up to the airlines, or do, do whatever I have in the best way possible, ATP is a great option. It's a flat cost, it's a flat time for the most, uh, for the mostly speaking, um, they advertise nine months. Uh, it might take you a year, it might take you a little less than nine months, but roughly I'd budget a year, and you're going from zero all the way done with your CFI ratings, and then you can start making money in aviation. And there's not a whole lot of jobs and a whole lot of careers where you can become zero to making money in your field in a year's time flat and have some kind of professional rating. That's, that's pretty rare. It does cost a lot of money. They advertise $80,995 on their website for the whole program. Um, I'm not here to tell you how to get money or finances and stuff. It's different for everybody. They do offer loan options. And then the good thing about ATP too is they do have airline reimbursement programs, airlines that they work with to help students and get them jobs and get them in the door and also help offset some of the cost. So I think that's a great option and that's a generalized good option for most people. Whereas a freelancer buying an airplane or doing something part 61, but really dialing it in and focusing on it Monday through Friday and making it your whole life, um, I think you get done just as fast as ATP for two thirds of the cost per to say. So ATP is good for some people, it's not good for other people. But I think overall it's still a good option. Would I do it again if I knew what I knew now? 
No, probably just because I have a lot more connections now and I know better ways to do it. But um, you have to evaluate all that. And if you need any help, uh, reach out to me, leave a comment below. I do have the ATP Flight School Students and Alumni Group. Uh, I've got the Arizona Freelance Flight Training Group. Um, I'll leave those below. So those are great resources that I have built and I'm currently building to connect people in order to make flight training as easy and as cost effective as possible. And I wanna help as many people as I can get into aviation, pursue their dreams and sort of their full potential. So if you have any questions, Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. My name is Ryan Huber. You can follow me on Instagram at WorldwideHube. Take care, guys, and you have a great day.